Ni hao, what's yao pata? I'm just gonna mukbang and uh, eat my taco while the uh, intro to this demo happens. I'm super fucking excited. Several chapters, okay. Valisthea. Mm, gotta hit next. Screen brightness. I like it a little extra bright. Voiceover language. Okay, I remember uh, English is what we're going to go with. Game performance. Frame rate or graphics. Let's go with graphics. I don't think I really notice frame rate. Visual alerts. An on-screen waveform that it provides visual representation of in-game sounds and music. Okay, that's that's cool. Story focused or action focused. Begin the game equipped with several accessories that simplify gameplay. Recommended for those who are less comfortable with action games and wish to focus more on the game's story elements. Gameplay does not affect gameplay focus does not. Ex story content mode can be changed after starting the game begin the game with standard equipment recommended for those players who are comfortable with action games let's say i'm comfortable with action games i played 15 um confirm settings and begin i'm expecting a long intro Moss the chronicler who said that the land of Alistair is blessed with the light of the mind. This light has finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Ooh. Already loving it. I didn't think I'd be doing things already. Traveling through the Earth's anus. Okay. Is that Ifrit? Ifrit versus Phoenix? Oh, that looks gnarly. And that transition was pretty cool. They're doing the same thing with Final Fantasy XV, where they like did like young and old versions. Year of the Realm, 873. The Nysa Defile, the Dal... 
Mechian something. I almost don't want my camera there. It's gonna. It's distracting. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. <laughs> you all know the target. Kazuya Takashi. And only the dominant. Come on in. Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? The girl will be among them. Our kind do not question the orders. <laughs> we follow them. Ooh, that was a line in the trailer. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. Are we in the future, or is this a different guy? I said focus, Wyvern. Bruh. <clears throat> Use L to move Clyde, R to move the camera. Uh, figured. Press it at any time to uh, out any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. Gameplay configuration, including camera inversion, can be adjusted on the system tab. We don't have Options on the system tab include wireless controller configuration as well as video audio accessibility and language settings. Cool that you don't have to like stick to one uh, language setting. This is weird. It's like they made it for PC, not <laughs> PlayStation. I'm going to go with default settings at first because I feel like that is, I don't know, what you do. And then adjust if, if shit is uh, wrong later. This, all hell is about to break loose. <clears throat> Tilt L gently to walk, fully to run. Yeah, that's pretty standard. He reminds me of Core, and this already sort of reminds this me of 15. It's like, I, th I feel like they might have started working on it immediately before the DLC for 15 was even out. Oh. The Republican Army front lines. Are the Republicans the good guys? Oh, chocobos! Fuck yeah! Oh shit! Yes! Blue catapults! You can hear the, like, ever so faint, like, Final Fantasy soundtrack remix. These are blood of more beast than man. <laughs> Where this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? The Zernitra Stronghold, the Nysa Defile. Okay, what do you mean, you 
refuse. Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. <laughs> oh, drinking and smoking Mako up in this bitch. Dude. Just... I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? Okay, she's gonna be like that bad the bitch Scarlet. Drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? I can't tell if she's hot. You are dominant, has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. But it's like a, a nuclear arms race. Should this citadel be allowed to fall? There's a big guy. And he's smoking too. And I doubt the it looks like a blunt. The good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Puts it out in the motherfucker's drink. Oh my god. The iron blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. Gorgeous. You cock. <laughs> <laughs> you cock. Benedict. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> when she was saying you cock, she meant that as a command. Take care when he chases the hair. What did you think me one of the latter? Jesus. <laughs> My lion. Hmm. Oh my god. I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. The chaos will consume us. Oh god, is this gonna be, uh, like Final Fantasy, uh, Legends, where he keeps talking about chaos? Was it not Legends, but... You know what I mean. Uh... That one no one played. <laughs> it was based off of Final Fantasy 1. Alright, let's go. We can jump! I may want to adjust camera sensitivity. Or frame rate, I don't know. It's like a weird motion blur. Like, everything looks good when it's still. <laughs> Ooh. And quick and deadly, as always. 
Take the van. The van? Are we on, like, Chocobo medieval days? Wait. Are we throwing in some hyper-modernism again? Right. Yeah, why wouldn't you pull out this right away? Shiva! Shiva and Titan! I like her look. It's not too slutty. It's more elegant, which is how I view her. But seriously, why would you even bring soldiers to a fight like this? We got to see Phoenix and Ifrit fight earlier, now it's Titan and Shiva. But aren't they lovers? I don't understand. Lovers on the opposite side? <clears throat> How could you hate Final Fantasy? He's like, foot. Seriously, every human person is just fucked. I was expecting to have to press a button like those Final Fantasy 13 QTEs. Quick time events. Fuck me! I'm coming! I'm gonna fuck you. I promise. Jeez, whoa. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's relatable. Am I Wyvern or Clive? I don't understand. Is that like my military code name or something? Dude, I don't know what you expect me to be. <laughs> he almost died like 10 times. It's gonna crush him, and his, the credits are just gonna roll. Brother in arms, or like brother, brother. Clive. 
Ah, now we're back in the past. The Asians, they love to do this jumping around in time thing for their narratives. Thirteen summers earlier, year of the realm, 860. Roslith, the Grand du Duchy of Rosaria. And now I'm all twinkified. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. <laughs> I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Combat tutorial? Uh, I really should move or turn off the camera. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. The gallery? Like, the two kids? Yeah, combat tutorial. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute a four swing combo. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Yeah. Oh. Twice. Back attack doesn't seem too useful. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Channel your inner flame. Land a fire spell five times. Press triangle to cast fire. A ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Keep them coming. Okay. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You bet your ass I do. My lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can... That sounds homoerotic. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Um, On your uh -oh. toes, Lord Rossfield. I'm gonna... gonna elude... Evade four times. Press R1 to evade an enemy's attack. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. Okay, so it plays more like a Souls game. Oh, to be so young and fleet of foot. Nice try. Keep trying, guys. Ah. Not quite. Try to evade my attacks. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I will need to adjust to the Remember, battle style. Your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. Close the gap. Execute a Phoenix shift three times. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. Press circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Both melee and ranged attacks magic can be used while executing a Phoenix Shift. Was it all our shields could move so swiftly? Noise. Shift attack, shift spell, shift dodge. But even the most 
most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Mend your wounds. Use potions to fully restore HP. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assigned to uh, uh, via the items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. Okay, potion, high potion, use potions to fully restore HP. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Oh, finally we get to hear the twink talk. With me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. <laughs> Make proof of your strength. Final lesson. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Come on. Yeah. Have you no interest in your own preservation? Shut up. Shield is but a title, you realize. You aren't expected to bear every blow. If you don't ah. protect yourself, Clive, how will you protect me? Oh, shut up. Yeah. Okay. You cannot use Phoenix Shift to die. If you fought like this in the field, you'd be dead. I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 plus square to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Complete. Took me a, a minute to fumble through it, but. Ah. He won. See, I told you he could do it. 
that. Aye. Best is at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. <laughs> you if you say so. The shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. Oh, oh, okay. There's gotta already be rule 34 of them, too. I mean, look, he's got a booty. Are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank indefatigable? We live to serve. Is that a British thing? That's not how you pronounce that. I thought it was indefatigable. Yes. should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Oh, that did not... <laughs> He's not the darling boy. <laughs> she don't like him. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Okay, so she's mad because uh, the second son was born with the divine power or whatever. It's like watching a good movie. Oh, Chocobo? It's a Chocobo, isn't it? Yes, all respect to the Chocobo. <laughs> Work. I wonder if they work or quit. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, father. Much better. Today. He's going to die. You don't you don't have a king look like that that young and and handsome and capable looking without him like dying in the first few hours of the movie. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. He's very clearly being coded as good, good dad, good father, just like uh, the Final Fantasy Come fifteen dad king. Time, your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. 
Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Everybody's touching on him. I mean, I would too, but <laughs> almost everybody's like, yeah, let me feel your body. Little... Oh, he's chasing a butterfly. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Ooh, time to run around town. Sunrise, sunset. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a... Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Need to speak with father. My animal instinct. Remember, it is... The attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level status abilities and gear. Rosarian oath, Rosarian belt. Items. Items tab consists of all non-gear items currently in Clive's possession, including those used in quests. Consumable items such as potions can be used at any time from this tab. Items can also be assigned to shortcuts for quick access during gameplay. Select an item from the consumables list and press square to bring up the shortcut window. After confirming the button it is to be assigned, mm -mm -mm. press X to per confirm the decision. Just stone skin tonic. Okay, cool. I have one of each. Shield Ensign? Huh. The Journal tab contains information on main story progress as well as all current and completed side quests. As the Duchy readies itself for war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals, so too does Clive prepare to do his duty as First Shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, Dominant of the Phoenix make for the throne room pride it is the year 860 and with the coming of spring does green once again return to the grand duchy of rosaria in the baileys of rosalith castle men who have sworn their swords to their country train in anticipation of coming conflict and it is here that one young man in particular endeavors to prove himself worthy to the ones he loves as dawn breaks over the nice defile in the 873rd year of the valisthean calendar the armies of Dalmechia and the Iron Kingdom gather, and their icons, Titan of the Republic and Shiva of the Orthodoxy, make ready to take the field. Meanwhile, high above it all, a small party of branded assassins survey the battlefield like hawks in search of prey. The night burns red as twin titans clash, dressed in flame, they vie for dominance, one a beacon of hope, the other an aberration, an affront to the very laws of nature. There is no room in this world for both, for there can only be one icon of fire. Ooh, Phoenix Ifrit, like, fight. The gear and icons tab is used for equipping weapons and armor, as well as assigning iconic abilities to available slots. And we already know system. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items can be discovered on the items tab in the main menu. And you literally just have to walk up to it. You don't have to press anything. Chocobo. Okay, so y'all see that, right? There's like motion blur if you go too fast. I think it's made for 60 FPS. Shift this lot before we lose the light. Get out of the way. Okay. 
What kind of jumping is that? But I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. <laughs> It was up there. An apple. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, I, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. What, th what the fuck is a duchy? Back to your duties. Clearly, uh, main character Twink is like respect for the poor, common man, avowed communist, gentle nobility. What is what is the term? Benevolent monarchy, benevolent dictatorship, something like that. But he's his life is going to be just as hard too, you know. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. Ah, I thought that was going to be an item. Well, don't you make it on some pear? I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Slave master. I don't know about this, you guys. Pretty. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? All right, I have to use the restroom, so I will be right back.
<laughs> Alright, sorry about the delay. It was longer than I expected it to be. But, uh, I'm back, and we're about to experience this beautiful fucking game. There's Joshua! Hi, baby. Marquis. Don't get my man. He'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place tidied up for the big procession. <laughs> Is there a map and I don't see it? Because of the the camera, I'm gonna get rid of the camera for just one second. No, there's not. Okay, whatever. That's a good enough place for the stream, then. Now that is an item. They, I guess they, uh, they learned their lesson from 15. They're like, don't make it a tiny dot. Make it a, a real fucking dot. <laughs> child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. If Joshua dies, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> like, I expect Dad to, but not Joshua. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. That's funny. Oh, dark in the castle. I guess that makes sense. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with the little paw. <laughs> you commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? Is it always a thing that a monarchy well, has a throne and throne room? the territories fare any better. You can stop licking my Slam boots, your mother is here. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. What is the blight? I have flamed. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. It's like a disease? Like cancer? I will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. 
Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. Beastmen. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then First quest. At Phoenix Gate. And then real plot. Can't see Dad's face because of the camera. There we go. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell they have a really loving relationship. <laughs> my duty, your grace. That's why I am just 110% sure Dad's going to die. There's no way you have two living parents and one of them's cool. Yes, your grace. Not in a Final Fantasy. Hold hmm, to access the Active Time Lore feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally uh, formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Boiling Sea, ooh. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. I don't know how I feel about quelling rebellions. Uh, <laughs> also known in the local tongue as Hyer Hairnon. Uh, sorry, I had to slow blink at my cat. The Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craigloisk. <laughs> the Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring kingdom, Dutch, neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, culture. Okay. The Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with aether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possessions of their blessings. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosalith, it is uh, from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation an architectural feat that the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. I hate doors you can't open. No 
no messages, my lord. Fucking pretty. I may switch to prioritizing frame rate if it ends up being like lots of action heavy battles. But for while we're trucking through story, I want the uh. Oh, the graphics as the uh, performance indicator. How long will you be away this time? I already don't like her. Four days, maybe five. Yeah, he's gonna die. And you will be taking Joshua. But I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. I think I don't know that. <laughs> But the boy is also the phoenix, the heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. I don't know about her. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. Ain't no way he's 15 or 16. Ain't no way. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Mm. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. 
father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Metia? Is that the little dot next to the moon? Don't tell me she ends up being a love interest. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Uh, it is a love interest. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. My lady. Good night, Clive. I thought she was more Joshua's age. I'm very... Uh, like, he ain't 15, 16, but she does look like 12, 13. Hmm. Again, the booty, the body, it's... They made him sexually attractive, and then they threw but 15 or 16 years old at me. Sorry, Ambrosia. Today. Ambrosia? Oh, that's so cute. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. Again, she's his height. Why is she not flirting with him? Good luck. He's so hot. of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever! His grace departs. Open the gates. Lord Rossfield. Allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. <laughs> We're ready to depart, my lord. <laughs> May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you? Yeah, I swear to God, if their names are Biggs and Wedge. Fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So, Wade, Sir Tyler. Wade and Tyler? <laughs> With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. <laughs> and may the blessing of the crystals go. I love this little emo boy. They clearly have a type. The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins currently available to Clive via fast travel.
There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted boughs. Now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the Deadlands to make their bogs their home. Yeah, it was fast travel. Still wind. We're still in the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, though. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Watch your step and your dick. Lost in a fog. Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes allow its wearers wear to chain complex attack combos, only using square. The Ring of Timely Focus slows time before an incoming attack, allowing for an extended evasion window. As with all items, timely accessories can be equipped and unequipped on the gear in the main menu. The calves of a puma. <laughs> that or this convenient ring. Do I want auto evade or... I think automatically it sounds better, right? Sounds good for me, since I was forgetting to do the, uh, the other things. Not exactly the most well-maintained path, but who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. To go! Whoop whoop! We rich! Those are goblin sounds for sure. Y'all see the golem stuff? We just gotta kill a couple golems. Well, guys. What was the point of being like, wait, use triangle after striking an opponent with square to conjure a magic explosion that deals significant damage, that will deal significant will damage.
Damn, nice. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Strength tonic. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. There's more. Some enemies will drop gill or items upon their defeat. Loot is gathered automatically by approaching the glittering icons. Cool, you can Phoenix Shift in the air. It's like the warp dash from 15. <laughs> he just kicks it. The glowing butterflies to show you where you're supposed to go. <sighs> Another strength tonic. I like that I was able to climb over that thing. Nice. Not being stopped by random little objects is super helpful. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full here. <laughs> Damn. Down with you. And stay down. Whoa. Yeah. Got some money. <laughs> Magic kick. <laughs> we should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. <laughs> it might not. Sneaky. 
sods. We're trapped. My lord. I'm working on it. He's the leader. <laughs> but we'll have to take care of his followers first. Is that a rule? Oh wow. As if you have to ask. <laughs> On your feet, so Wade. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will can stagger it, leaving it unable to act and vulnerable to attacks. Oof. I tried. Enemies will become partially staggered when the real gauge is reduced to 50%, creating a short opening in which combo attacks are easily landed. Completely reducing an enemy's will gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered, increasing with each strike landed up to a maximum of 150%. The total amount of damage dealt during this time is displayed upon the enemy regaining its senses. Yikes! Whoa! Take down. Slain. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include items, gear, ability points, and experience points. Hard leather armlets, 
Though at first glance this modest wrist piece might appear an uncomfortable fit for those cursed with fleshy forearms. Upon further inspection, one would be relieved to discover the band incomplete, offering its wearer a modicum of comfort, be he swine or starveling. Be he swine or starveling? Does that mean whether he's fat or not? <laughs> gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of a battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab in the main menu. Mastering existing abilities as well as learning renew on new ones requires ability points, which are earned in battle by completing or by completing quests. Okay, well, put on some hard leather armlets. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with Clive's current build, reset all abilities and try again as there is no penalty for doing so. Cool. Details of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. It includes an ability's capacity for dealing damage, indicates an ability's capacity for breaking a target's will. Melee attack, mastered. Dodge. Jump. Precision dodge. Executing a dodge with R1 at the moment of an enemy attack not only increases evasion efficacy, but also allows for counterattacks using either square or triangle. Sext. I've learned it, but I haven't mastered it. I have 152, so I couldn't even get... I couldn't master these. Charged magic. Hold triangle to increase the potency of a magic spell released to cast. That sounds useful. Lunge. Use square and X to swiftly close in and attack a distant enemy. I don't see the use for that as much if we have the phoenix shift. So I'm going to go with charged magic. Since we can't go up here yet. Or should I save? I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the charged magic. Stomp! Use X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. <laughs> Swift recovery. These all sound useful. I'm just gonna... If it's if it's bad, they say there's no uh Okay, interesting. Whoops. I guess I gave myself lunge. Taunt would be what's next. Use R2 and to pull the attention of the target. Can't cast magic unless the fight's already been initiated. This is a smart little goblin. Oh, does it? It's going to be another Gigas or something even scarier. What's in there? 
<laughs> it's a Marlboro! Oh, that's so cool! Morble. Keep clear of its maw, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Ah. No. That reeks. I said, stay away from its mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. When the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. When the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1 before time runs out to evade the oncoming attack. I think we've made it angry.
Morble slain. Look, look. I think this is pretty good as a stopping point after this it, point of a uh, the story sequence essentially. Thanks. Never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition his grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Noise. That was a small little instance zone. The aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties, but also serves as a sacred ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. Some time later. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a marvelous gullet. <laughs> <laughs> I will never be able to rate, relate to this boys time type stuff. Lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. <laughs> I love the the driblets coming off him. What kind of fork? <laughs> no, father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? Doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant, to wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to. Reminds me a lot of the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla so the intro. Thing we must do.
my friends. Louder! Yeah. He's going to be getting into trouble all the time and get pissed me off, isn't it? Oh no, it's just going to be a sweet moment. You'll be wondering where you got to. Her name's Jill. So much for you being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Not the loud men of <laughs> enthusiasm over everything. I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgal. Good night, Torgal. <laughs> Puppy. from the capital. You took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> It's a 
Good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Spare a barrel for the boys in the What in the? What? Ah. Oh. Now it's Assassin's Creed. Secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. So right as right as the whole powerful family leaves town. Oh no, Joshua. Magic boy. Is that Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, Your Highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, Your Highness. <gasps> we get to control Joshua. Flight of the Fledgling. And he has a little fire torch. Oh, well, that's just the piddliest jump I've ever seen. They did that on purpose, didn't they? At least he can do a sort of dodge. It's only backwards, though. What the fuck? What? And then Kuraga. <gasps> what? <laughs> Are the enemy already inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. You know, I'm gonna pause it right here, but I'm so excited to play more of this. They even have little 8-bit versions! Oh, that's so cute! Wade and Joshua! I told you though, he's gonna find his father. Father's gonna die. I know. I know he's gonna die. <laughs> All right, but for now. I'm uh, I'm getting a little sleepy, so I want to enjoy this like a hundred percent. We will be back tomorrow, for sure. Uh, for now, what's your pata? Ni sema yang, wo sui jin bu zuo, hao jiao bu jian.